my name is Darius Kavavehi. Uh, I was born and raised on Oahu, a small little island in Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. From the time when I was born up until I was four years old, I was emotionally, mentally, physically, and sexually abused by my parents. I lived in my first foster home for a few years and met with a lot of verbal and physical abuse by my foster parents in that home. I was about nine or 10 years old, entering about my third elementary school. This is my fourth foster home. And I went through a lot of mental depression, ended up wanting to take my life several times. There was a pretty big shift in fifth grade where I kind of learned to just start taking life back in my own hands. I ended up moving in sixth grade to live in what would be my final home. I eventually got adopted in seventh grade and during high school, made the decision to join the military got a Navy ROTC scholarship to study mechanical engineering at Purdue University. Graduated commission from college and been in the Navy for about six years. The lesson that took me, you know, 12 plus years of therapy to kind of go through and really just battle the inner demons that I had was to learn to forgive, right? And this is, Probably the furthest thing from anyone's mind, right? That has, that's going through pain and trauma is like, forgive, like, why the hell would I forgive? Like there's literally these people have inflicted indescribable harm upon us, right? And I hear you, right? I've gone through my own share of, of pain and, and trauma. And that was the furthest thing that I wanted to do. I didn't even want to see, see pictures of my own parents because, you know, the, the very sight or thought of them, you know, really triggered some of those emotions. In the first phase of me learning how to forgive, I had to learn to accept, right? And I, it took a, a moment in one of the sessions in my junior year of high school, where I had my therapist put a, a picture of my parents in front of me, and I was able to say the words that I forgive you, right? I never actually called my birth parents, and you know, I never saw them since uh, since I was a little child, because even though I got adopted in seventh grade, you know, I still had a lot of negative feelings in me. It's not like, you know, I was instantly healed and instantly in a better state of mind just because I was adopted. That, that's not what happened, right? So it did take some, some time for me to fully come to terms with everything and, and get to that forgiveness. But for me, intrinsically, knowing that I was able to feel inside that I could forgive them for everything that happened, right? It's not me saying that everything was, was okay and it's right that it happened that way. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that, you know, I, I truly accept that what happened happened and I forgive you for it. A lot of the challenges that I, I face nowadays, you know, I can reflect back and look at what I've gone through and I'm like, oh, this is, this is nothing. This is temporary. At the end of the day, I actually feel very grateful for the character that I've been able to build upon. The inner strength I have has truly helped me in, in some challenging times. I would say, don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help because you're not alone in this, right? You have a team of your, your social workers behind you that are, that are fighting uh, for you to, you know, get past this, this difficult time period, right? You have your therapist, uh, hopefully, and if you don't have a therapist, scream for one, right? If you truly feel that you need that, that mental support to kind of work through a lot of these inner emotions i would highly recommend that you get the support that you need every single resource that you need to overcome these these inner challenges and once you realize that you know you don't have to harbor everything alone and, and go through these challenges alone then you know life becomes a little bit easier as you realize that you can lean on others when you need to they're other than just professional Therapy and medical services, you know, just having great people in your community that you can open up to is also a very great uh, resource and a healthy and positive environment for you to have your healing as well. Despite everything that may be happening in your life, you know, the one thing I would say to the children or to, to former foster youth, right, is, is don't lose your childhood curiosity, right? And don't let others kind of squash those those aspirations and those dreams that you have. And in realizing the community that was behind and supporting me throughout my life, right? That's ultimately what kind of drove me down to to serve in the military, right? That was kind of my way to give back and say thanks to the people that 
have helped me along the way, right? To the teachers out there, to the social workers, uh, you know, my therapists and all the other people kind of in the background helping me uh, to get to where I am, believing in me, um, having an open mind and not judging me for uh, the past and the trauma that I've gone through. Um, and that allowed me to not have any limits on myself and what I could dream of doing.